Hey everybody, Jason here from my Animate. Hopefully you're all doing fantastic this week. So in this week's snippet, we're gonna talk about how I break down mechanics. So in our last snippet, we talked about breaking down uh, live action reference and making sure that like if it's a mid shot or a close up shot that we make sure we place the feet so that we get like an overall balance in there right so it makes it feel like if the character is kind of moving around that it's not just like a puppet on a string right or like on a stick you know moving around that we actually have some steps in there so if you're doing blocking and uh, you've got like a lot of steps to put in, put in each one of those steps as one of your keys, one of your storytelling poses, right? So this is the main blocking for the shot. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm starting to break it down. You shoot a gun here and there'll be pandemonium. All right, do you hear me? There'll be cops swarming all over this block. You think so? Let's see, one, two, Right, so this was based on the live action reference. So anytime I took a step in the live action reference, I placed a key right there, right? Now I didn't break anything down yet. That's this stage, right? So when I'm breaking down the mechanics, what I'm actually doing is looking at the live action reference and seeing where the ups and downs are, where the changes are, where the gestures are, making sure that I follow that timing at this stage, right? So. At this stage, what I'm trying to do is grab the spirit of the live action reference and then push it for the character, right? So I obviously I don't look like Ethan here, like this rat character, but what I'm trying to do is grab the spirit of my acting that I chose as a live action reference. And then what I'm trying to do is look at the ups and downs, the side to sides, you know, finding where the, uh, the gestures are, the speed of the gestures, the speed of a head turn or head move, and try to emulate that. And I'm not offsetting anything. What I'm trying to do is key absolutely every single control on that frame, right? So it's as if like they're drawings, right? So each one of these keys is a drawing to me, right? So it's, it's a major change in the action or it's an up and a down or something in there that needs to be there, right? The rest are basically breakdowns and like in-betweens, right? So, and if I wanna layer on something on top of this, like overlapping actions or anything like that, I can do that. So all I'm doing here is just looking at the mechanics of the live action reference and then try to push it and caricature it for the character, okay? So as, you, as I'm strolling through here, you can see like the hand going up and down here, you know, I'm trying to emulate that with the character, right? And that's as simple as I can break it down, right? So I'm looking at the posing that I'm doing here. I'm looking at like this little gesture here, you know, cops swarming all over this park, right? I'm looking at all this stuff and then making sure that I capture that with the character, okay? So I'm not offsetting any timing. Uh, and at this stage, I'm just concerned about getting that spirit, right? So grabbing like the energy level that I've got in my live action reference, putting it onto character. And then as, at a certain point, after I've done like my, uh, my facial and broken down the, the actual action, what I'm gonna do is push the live action reference aside and then start to work on just looking at the character. So some things may feel a little bit faster uh, later on because I want this guy to feel like he's, uh, you know, he's animated, right? And usually, not always, but usually you'd want your animation to feel a little bit faster than live action reference uh, because you don't want it to feel like a, a guy wearing a motion capture suit, unless it's supposed to be really realistic, right? But what I'm trying to do at this stage is just emulate what I've done in the live action reference because that's what I shot, right? That's what felt natural to me. That's the, the, the reference that I chose to emulate, okay? So like, even when the, this guy is gonna start to run away now, like I'm following the, the posing that I've got here. Now it's not broken down yet, right? So there's, there's parts in here that I'm gonna want to, uh, to push even more later on, but I'm, all I'm doing right now is just kind of looking at the ups and downs of the body and seeing which way I'm actually turning, which way I'm leaning and try to emulate all that stuff, all right? So next time when we see this shot, we'll have some facial and lip sync and we'll go over that, okay? All the best you guys, take care, bye.